So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pass. It doesn't. I'm going to change my angle. I'm going to drop. I like an underhook on this shoulder, and I'm going to drop this right hip to the mat. So I'm in a reverse scarf hold. It's just that he has part of my leg. Right now, what I'm going to do is now this is this is where there's a little tricky to this. This is the Dewey duck. So I'm going to slide forward and block, holding here, but with pull of my leg and my hand, so that I'm pinning his hip. This is really just a good pin, so some people get a submission on it. Take my wrist and collect right where that laces and the ankle meet. Now I'm just going to scoot this in and take a gable grip. Now what I want is the ankle slightly outside the knee. And I'm going to pull this leg Track this hip back, so I'm doing, you know, hip through, and this is going to squeeze in, and here's the other thing, so it's in and angle. It's called the gooey duck. Crack it clam, yeah. baby! Woo! Right? Some people have the vaporizer and all this cool fucking, the dehumanizing atomic choke that, you know, the baseball bat slide into second. Third base choke, which is a whole nother choke that we won't close, cover today. <laughs> this gooey duck here and here. This is I. What I like for this is just pin. So let's say the ankle stays inside. If I lock this up, ah, then he's going to move. I'm across his hips, ah, right? So he's actually I'm pinning his hips. It makes it very difficult to move. If I change this angle outside, this ah, ankle ah, comes outside the knee. The key is it has to be cinched all the way in. If there's space, he's got to be going to muscle. And he can shrimp. He can get away. But if I squeeze this in, and take it outside of the 